So I've got some code here that's not terribly exciting. Um, I've got two variables. These are going to be used to control color. In my setup function, I'm just setting my canvas to 300 by 300, and I'm giving this variable b the value 0 and this variable f the value 255. And then in my draw function, I'm coloring the background um, to be over whatever the value of b is. So since it's 0, it's going to be black and I'm using my fill function to color in my ellipse that I'm about to draw and since F is originally 255 it's going to be white and then I simply draw it at the middle um, with a width and height of 100 by 100 so if I play this it's not terribly exciting um, it just draws a white circle on a black background I want to do that so I can introduce you to this other built-in function um, it's called mouse pressed so here's what it looks like mouse pressed and it essentially activates whenever you click the mouse so whenever I click the mouse whatever code is written inside of here will execute so I'm going to use it to toggle um, the color of my background and the color of my circle so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna check if the current value of B is 0 then I'm gonna make it uh, 255 Um, otherwise, I'm going to make it zero. So every time the mouse is clicked, it's going to switch back and forth between one of these colors or the other. And then since I've already got this set up so they start um, opposite each other, I'm just going to go ahead and handle F too. So if B was zero and is now 255, then I want to make F B zero. Whereas if it wasn't, I want to make F B 255. So now every time I click the mouse, it's going to go um, between these two sets of values. Let me show you. So let me play this thing. All right, so here's my original. I'm about to click the mouse. Bam, it switches colors. So anything that you put inside of mouse pressed will activate when you click the mouse.